Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about, uh, this is part four, I believe, of uh, the uh, disassembling the Honda IMA battery. And in this uh, segment, I'm going to talk about the diagnosis and the uh, solution. I did find a solution. I was able to fix the IMA battery. Saved, uh, what, they cost about $3,000 to have them re repaired by uh, someone else. Um, at first, I tried to charge the batteries, but uh, I thought that that was a problem. A lot of people talk about that. It turns out that the batteries seemed to be okay. What happened was that a screw had come loose in one of the thermal couples, and that broke the circuit. And when I just reassembled the battery and put it back together, the, the, the uh, battery worked fine. So I talked a little bit about troubleshooting, uh, charging up the batteries. I tried recharging the batteries, and um, all the batteries were about the same level, which led me to believe that none of the battery cells were bad. Uh, when I charged them, they seemed to charge up to a higher charge and uh, hold their charge, and so I couldn't find anything else wrong with it other than a screw was missing. I saw the screw fall out when I pulled the battery out, and um, so I reassembled it and put it in the car. The IMA light went away, and uh, it seems to be charging the battery properly. All batteries seem to be charging properly, so the problem seems to be fixed. Okay. Okay, here we have the battery apart, and uh, I'm just uh, hooking clip leads onto the batteries to, because um, it seems like it's easier to just test them inside the box rather than pull them out because it'll kind of bend the uh, thermal couple tabs. And I've made a little table list of. Um, of the of the battery voltages, and it, it seems like they're all kind of in the same ballpark. I was expecting to see some that were bad. Some were about 7.2, but um, I, I was expecting to see one that was very low voltage, and I didn't see it. Okay, we're just going to start start out trying to charge the lowest battery, which is a. Uh, you look at our little notes here, it's uh, 7.2, it's appreciably lower than the other ones. And uh, we will hook our jumpers up to it and uh, try to get that charging and see if that battery charges up a little bit higher. Okay, one thing also to be careful of is that the batteries alternate plus minus plus minus. And see, we do have the red one hooked up to the square one, so that's a plus. And the black one is hooked up to the hexagonal one, so that's a minus. And that's the low battery. We're reading 7.2, so let's try hooking these leads up to the charger, make sure they get the polarity right, and then we'll see if we can charge this up at all. Okay, so we have the clip leads from the batteries hooked up to our charger here. And this charger is set on. I don't know if you can see it. So let's hit start. Okay, so. Okay, so let's go through the settings one more time. So we're on charge. Uh, 0.1 amps, nickel metal hydride. We're going to have one cycle. We're just going to charge up. And uh, let's just hit start and see what happens. Okay. It says, wait, check on the battery, 7.14. And there we go. We're starting the charge. And so we'll see how well this thing charges up our batteries. Okay. And uh, so, anyway, we've, in this segment, we uh, tried charging the batteries. I kept a list of all the batteries. They all charged up. I was able to charge them up to a higher charge. They held the charge. Um, everything seems to be fine. The only thing that I found wrong with this battery was that a screw had fallen out when I disassembled it. Um, so we're going to try to reassemble the battery and stick it back in the car and see how it behaves. Okay, so we're going to start putting in the little screws. 
little screws look something like that. They're a little Phillips screw. And we have our Phillips screwdriver here. Those these screws, one of these screws fell out, and I think that's what caused the fault in my battery. Okay, good news. I just put the IMA battery back in the car. And the I I think it was that screw that fell out of the, the thermal couples because now the IMA light is off so there's no IMA light and the battery was about completely dead but it's charging now and the bars were zero zero and now they're coming up and I checked the voltage on the battery back here I don't have the, the lid on it yet so I want to be a little bit careful but it was about 166 volts here Okay, so we be really careful around these things and these are Okay, we got this on uh, DC and it's about 100 and 170 volts now. I got the leads reversed. We'll swap them so it will look positive 170 volts and it looks like the battery in the Honda IMA is fixed Okay, so this is good news, and it's charged up two bars already. It was down to zero, so I'll let it run for a little bit. And uh, IMA lights off. Still got the engine light. I'm not sure what that's for, but that might be the next video. Okay, here we are. Took it for a drive around the block, and now the battery. This is the battery right here. It's completely charged up now. So it looks like the whole problem was this one little screw that fell out. So anyway, this is... Now, there is one further segment that I'm going to make. Uh, putting the battery back together is kind of a tricky uh, ordeal. And I, I found some, some uh, little uh, tips that may help you reassemble the battery. And uh, so I'll be making a fifth part of this video showing how I actually reassembled the battery. Okay, anyway, this is Dr. Jaynes. Thanks for watching.